Hi, my name is Liberty Schultz, and I'm a future college softball player. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. During this series, you'll learn fielding, catching, hitting, and diving. Prepare to learn. What's up you guys and welcome back. My name is Liberty Schultz and this is my channel. So today is Tutorial Tuesday. I am not wearing my lovely duct tape shirt, but it's all right. We're still going to do a Tutorial Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about recovery and things that I like to do after games to feel good for the next games. So let's get on into the video. So another thing that you can do for recovery after games is either go for a walk or a bike ride or something really easy just to break up lactic acid or something like that. So right now I'm at the gym. I'm gonna show you me going on a walk and also going on a bike ride. So another thing that's really important in recovery is drinking a lot of water. You want to drink a lot of water after your games and it'll really replenish your muscles and make you feel more hydrated and feel just overall a lot better. So let's down some water. really important in addition to water is eating a good healthy meal that's rich in carbohydrates and protein you can get that from vegetables some sort of bread or pasta something like that now you don't want to carb load or anything but you just want to eat a good healthy balanced meal because you want to fuel your body to perform better so ice is also really important when you're trying to recover if you have a sore shoulder or a hurt knee or something like that you need to put ice on it because it'll just expedite the healing process so let's put the ice on and we'll put it on for about 15 minutes and then we'll put it on our knee too. Let's see. Right, shoulders all done. Let's put it on our knee. All right, now we'll just let it sit there and we should start feeling better. So if you guys feel like you are just too far gone and you're so sore, ice packs just won't work for you, something you can do is take an ice bath. And a tip that I have is you can put a little bit of essential oils in there and it'll make it smell real good. You'll feel very pampered. But uh, let's set up this ice bath. So usually I fill the bathtub like halfway full and then start dumping ice in it. Let's do it. So we got a big bucket of ice. And just dump it all in there. We'll just dump a whole lot of ice. So, once you put the ice in there, you can go ahead and get in the tub and uh, just, just sit down in it. Ooh. And you just sit in the tub for a while and just uh, just soak. I'll put the details up on the screen of what I do once I can think because I'm so cold. If you guys feel like uh, cold baths aren't necessarily for you, you can also take a hot bath and just put a little bit of Epsom salt in there and that really does the, the job well done. It works awesome. I do it a lot and it makes you just really relaxed and your muscles loosen up. So another huge part of making sure you recover well is sleep. You gotta make sure you get a good night's sleep, like seven to eight hours, somewhere in there, so you can use earplugs. Put them in your ears and take a nice good rest. The more sleep, the merrier. What's up you guys? That is it for this episode of Tutorial Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed. Remember, my name is Liberty Schultz and this is my channel. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys like trying this stuff out, whether you like the cold bath or the hot bath or going for a jog or going for a bike ride. Also remember to leave a big like on this video and hit that subscribe button down below. Let's keep growing and getting bigger, you guys. Uh, next episode of Tutorial Tuesday will be out next week. Remember to create your own box, you guys. We'll see you next time.